It is really my pleasure um, this, this afternoon to be able to support the association. Um, you know, we, in the ministry this morning, we were having uh, discussions and this morning and the last few weeks about how do we elevate um, persons with disabilities, how do we support the organizations that support them, and how, in real terms, do we offer ourselves of greater assistance. And one of the ways we determined, obviously, was to have better partnerships, um, to build in a meaningful way in relation to supporting programming, um, elevating the issues that are of importance to the various groups. We, we determined that if Barbados is to truly be an inclusive society in, in accordance with the theme, that we must do more to make sure that inclusion is a reality. We keep speaking of a fully accessible Barbados, and I think that must mean something real and bigger than just wheelchairs and so on, just being able for people to live uh, in a life in dignity and to have their rights respected. And it is my sure and certain conclusion that the barriers that are preventing persons with disabilities from being able to function effectively in society really is not theirs, it is ours. And that these barriers are institutionalized. Sometimes they're taught to us in, in the way we relate to one another. So we're given all these things that really hinder us from being able to relate. I think in some cases they were in our religion. Um, these things go back. So we have to make a concerted effort really to sanitize our thinking um, of these things if persons are to truly have um, the possibility to, to, to benefit really because I don't even think it's a case of us trying to help out people. I think, you know, there's so much skills, compassion, love, potential, talent, all these things that we are denying ourselves by blocking persons from participating in society. And so we made a, a very stern and strong commitment that this ministry must work closely with its partners. There are two groups that have been very, very careful and strong on, persons with disabilities and the elderly. You know, we must do more for both groups. And I'm hopeful that today's presentation will be in keeping with that particular determination that we made. Um, I am happy to see that my friends are both here, to be honest, and I look forward to us working together, especially after this presentation, to see what else can be done. Is it? I think that there is also a month um, for persons with Down syndrome yes, in October. In October yeah. And I also hope to be able to work closely as well in October to be able to do more. So without any further ado, I want to thank you for coming to the Ministry of People's Empowerment. We have determined that we would like to make a contribution to your association. So on behalf of the Ministry of People's Empowerment and Elder Affairs, would like to give you this small token of $30,000 to be able to support the work that you're doing, the wonderful work that you're doing, the meaningful work that you're doing, and we hope that it can add value to that work. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you, and I, I want to say thank you again to the minister for realizing not only the potential of individuals with disabilities, but for sharing that commitment towards furthering the cause for individuals with disabilities in Barbados, and we were we are very grateful to see this commitment and to have it come in from as high up as government. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.